Do you love ginger? I love ginger and I love growing ginger and today is such an exciting day. It's snowing outside and despite we are inside drinking ginger tea and we are dividing up all of these glorious hands of ginger to share with you. So yes, I'm Petra here at Fruition Seeds, P.S. by the way, and this is glorious organic ginger seed stock. So yes, it's totally delicious, don't let me stop you, but this is the cream of the crop that is the foundation of all ginger generations yet to come. So we, first and foremost, we eat some of the trimmings, it's true, but we plant this and we're about to plant it. The sooner you can start ginger, especially here in short seasons, the more abundant it will grow. And so I'm excited to share with you how to cut this ginger because we're about to ship hundreds of beautiful ginger hands to people on Monday. Monday, it's going to warm up for a couple days. So we're actually going to be shipping our first ginger to people on Monday. So if you want to get started right on it, um, check it out on our website, fruitionseeds.com. I can't wait to share this with you as well. Um, and when you get it, you can probably cut it down even a little bit more to optimize, which is what I'm excited to share with you in this little video. I also wanted to mention that <laughs> we're doing a ginger giveaway and I'd love for you to join in on that too. I'm also sharing a free hour long how to grow your own ginger webinar and that's next Friday. So that's totally free and even if you can't make it live, Register and I'll send you the instant replay. It's tons of awesome info and it's super fun, tons of hands-on stuff. And the giveaway, it ends t Sunday the 2nd um, at midnight and you it, we're giving away a pound of our beautiful ginger and a beautiful, all of our organic ginger fertilizer, enough to feed that plant, that pound for the entire season, as well as our free compliments of fruition um, grow Your Own Ginger Masterclass, which is a $70 amazing online course with hundreds of, hundreds of hours, pardon me, hundreds of videos and hours and hours of awesome video um, tutorials. So it's an amazing resource and you have lifetime access to that masterclass. But in the meantime, I'm just going to share how I love to chop my ginger. Um, so first and foremost, two things. You need at least three eyes on your ginger and you need three inches of ginger itself to have optimum vigor. It doesn't matter if you have five eyes, five sprouts coming off. If it's a tiny little piece, it just won't have the energy. So that's why you need at least three inches of rhizome and three three beautiful eyes. So let's take a look because, oh man, oh my God, I can't feel how beautiful this is. So take a look at this ginger rhizome. Here are the eyes and they're the apical growth points. So they're right at the end. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, there's another one right here. It's, and they're all dotted along kind of the growing margin, the growing edge of this ginger. So for example, this lovely little nubbin, there's one, two, three, there's four right on her, but she's almost as big as my, she's just a little bit larger than my thumb, and my thumb, um, you know, I'm five, four, so I'm thoroughly average. <laughs> and so that's a tiny little piece that's really not, even though there's four beautiful sprouts on this tiny little piece, I'm not gonna cut it there because it just isn't gonna cut it. There isn't the vigor in this rhizome. So I'm going to cut it beneath. I will always have more eyes and so that I can have more of the actual rhizome rather than having less eyes and a smaller than, than good amount of rhizome. So I take a nice sharp knife. Sharp, sharp knife is crucial. And I'm going to see, so let's take a look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I cut that in half? I really can't because if I cut it here, then I'm really sacrificing both, both of those. And here's the thing, we've totally learned across the years that the larger the piece, uh, the, the mother piece, the healthier, the more vigorous plant it is. Um, of course, you could plant this entire thing um, and it would grow and you'd get a lot of ginger. But, and you can also cut it down to like 10 maybe, but then those you would definitely not get as much. So the happy medium, there's four really nice pieces in here that I'm going to cut. 
And so I'm also another key when you're cutting your ginger hands, you want to be cutting the smallest wound possible. And so for example, take a look at this neck right here. I'm going to be making this incision right along that thin, narrow neck point, rather than say, you know, I could get one, two, three sprouts here, but then I would have to cut this this piece right down the middle, and that's a big wound. And so we're going to be letting those wounds heal, is the word for it. We're going to let it then heal over for the next week. And you'll see as I cut that it's very, oh, it smells so good. So you can see how glossy it is. I mean, there's, there's so much, I mean, ginger is heavy, right? There's so much water, there's so much weight. And so you want to let that gloss of the water of the wound fully heal over till it's matte, no longer glossy, and it's really beginning to like come back in and, and separate itself from the skin a tiny little bit. And that way you know that you can freshly, you can plant that ginger and you won't be subjecting it to the fungal bacterial pathogens in the soil that you're planting it in. So friends, there is so much more to share and I hope that you'll join me because I'll be, take, I'll be dividing tons of these rhizomes and talking about so much more, doing a live demonstration of planting. You'll get to look at our lovely little seedlings as they grow and talking about you know, cultivation and feeding them throughout the summer, all the details you need to set yourself up for success for growing ginger this season. It's really fun. It's far from foolproof and we've learned a ton here at Vision Seeds across the years. So I'm really excited to share with you everything that we've learned. We have an awesome blog about it and I'm this webinar is going to be amazing. Definitely join us. It's this next Friday, February 2nd. And, you know, even if you can't make it live, just register and you'll automatically get sent the, the email that is the instant replay. So sharing what we love with people we love is kind of why we do what we do. And we love Ginger and we love you too. So I hope that you enjoy this beautiful weekend. And even though the snow is falling, there is so much spring. The buds of our lilacs are starting to get large, what? But yes, inside you can totally be growing ginger. And I'm so honored to share our ginger, our knowledge, our passion, our love of life with you. <laughs>